You're only after Chad, bro. Listen, I'm not after Chad, okay? Like, listen, everyone's like, oh my God, Stacy, all you care about is Chad. But like, I swear guys, like I have a personality, like, <laughs> okay, anyway. I knew this was gonna happen. It's like, whatever. But my last video did not reach the right audience. And so therefore I did not really get interpreted the way that I wanted to get interpreted. But, so I'm just gonna reiterate over a couple points and also say some things that I missed. So the whole point of the other video was to essentially actually say that the approval and validation of Chad is like not necessary for your own self-worth because like young girls should not be sexualizing themselves so that way they get the attention of Chad or whoever. My whole point of the video was, you know, and everyone needs to hear this, but I feel like it's just not said enough to young girls, is that you need to f build and work on yourself, work on your talents, your hobbies, your passions, whatever. Work, go to school, get a job. Don't worry about what Chad or Stacy or who, these are not real words, by the way, okay? <laughs> like, you d just like, your self-worth doesn't come from how other people, um, if other people perceive you as sexually attractive. That's not where your self-worth comes from. And another thing that I also want to point, and, and I could like, I'll go into more depth about this later, but another quick point, and this is a ramble video, this is not thought out, this is just me rambling, okay? So before y'all are like, yap, 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 can this Foyd shut up? First of all, don't call them Foyds, bro. Don't call them, don't call them Foyds. So, Another thing I want to address that I forgot to address in the original Belle Delphine video is like, yeah, obviously I was over exaggerating. Like she didn't cause this problem, obviously. But one thing that she did heavily contribute to, in my opinion, is making the whole like, um, making her content very friendly towards like the people who are in cahoots with uh, Epstein, the people who be re reading books by Nakabob and not understanding like the um, actual meaning of the story. Friends of Epstein. Friends of Epstein are friends of Belle Delphine. I'm not trying to say the word, but you know what I mean. Because she dresses up in this childlike way and then goes on to create adult explicit content. And those two things should be totally, totally separated. Like I'm being so for real. Like even like people dressing up as like the schoolgirl outfits, that's just gross. Like in a sexual, like, like you can cosplay as a schoolgirl in like a non-sexual way and that's like fine. Cause like plenty of like anime characters like have that outfit and it's like not that big of a deal. But like, and this is, this, she has done this. If you're gonna dress up in like a child swimsuit, wear pigtails, suck on a little lollipop, and you know, all while you're making like OnlyFans content, that's just weird. That's just weird. It's just weird and it's gross. And it's like, it shouldn't be normalized and accepted. And it's like, why is she like, you know, she's doing all this. And, and again, there is nothing wrong with having like a childlike cutesy kawaii aesthetic as long as it's far removed from any sort of like sexual connotation, right? Cutesy, childish, kawaii things, whatever, should really have no overlap with adult content. It really should not. Uh, why? Because it attracts friends of Epstein. Not, okay, like not everyone who likes Val Delphine is a friend of Epstein. I'm not trying to say that, but Again, if you're gonna be dressing up in a child swimsuit, wearing pigtails, sucking on a, a lollipop, well, you know, making adult content, isn't that not weird? Anyway, so, so that was just another thing. And I could have phrased that better, but I'm rambling again. Um, another thing. Well, I mean, like, go going back on like the whole Chad thing, I really just need to constantly reiterate this opinion of mine, honestly fact low key, that your self-worth is not determined by your own fecundidio because we're like past that. I think, you know, we're past that phase in our evolution. I'm being so for real.
We're being, we can like build rockets. You can, you can take that spectacular little brain of yours and build a rocket. But instead you worry about whether or not women or men find you attractive. If you build a rocket, anyone would find you attractive. That's so awesome. So like I said, like I said, if you focus on yourself and cultivate your talents and become successful in whatever thing you're trying to, like whatever you're passionate in, you're gonna attract the right people anyway. If you create the superficial version of yourself, you're just gonna attract more superficial people. So it's like, be true to yourself, cultivate your talents. Do what makes the, make the world a better place. Focus on making the world a better place instead of just focusing on like whether or not Chad or Stacy finds you hot, really, really. Focus on that instead of just complaining, okay? Because everyone's like, oh, like, oh, oh my God. Like, you know, all the sixes are like, all the sixes just want tens. Okay, what about instead of complaining, you just like actually like did something else with your time? Like, what if you like invented like a rocket? <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying using that example. But like, again, like, wow, you're really attractive by complaining about like, whatever that, you know, because um, that sort of thing, you can't control, you, you cannot control how other people, what other people find attractive. You just can't do that. You can't control people's minds. That's something completely out of your control. So instead of complaining about it and worrying about it and saying it's like a society issue, just focus on yourself and change things in the world that you have the power to change and the power to influence. You can't influence how other people you know, what other people find attractive. I'm sorry, you can't do that. Like you alone cannot do that. It's just like a dumb thing to focus your energy on. And that's like another reason why I like sort of made the whole video is because like in high school, whatever, like that's what I cared about. I was like, oh my God, like whatever. Like I need a boyfriend, I need like whatever. And like, I cared so much about male validation. Yeah, I cared about whether or not Chad liked me, okay? Uh, and now I'm not like that because it's like, it's just like the wrong reasons to like get in a relationship. You want to get in a relationship because you like the person, you like spending time with them. You know, like you guys get along. Sure. Okay. Attractiveness is a part of it because that's just baked into our DNA. Okay. And that's, and it sucks. And what I was talking about in the other video is that it sucks that that's the case that, you know, you have to be physically attracted to your partner for it to work out. Um, but you know, I wish that wasn't the case, but but whatever, you know, it, it just happens to be that way. But again, when I was in high school, I only cared about Chad and right. And it's cause it's like, girl, you could have been prepping for your SATs. You really could have been prepping. You could have you like, instead of worrying about Chad, listen, do you know, y'all want to know the reason why I got a two in BC calculus my junior year of high school? Because I was flirting with Chad the entire class. Well, he wasn't really Chad, was he Chad? Not really. Sorry. But, um, anyway. So, like, instead of freaking worrying about my stupid ass or whatever like i could have been freaking studying for calculus and i could have gotten college credit and not have to have taken calc one in college so yeah girls focus on your school girls and guys whatever but i feel like the message is not necessary it's you know it's not related to young people period don't freaking care it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter whether or not you had like a girlfriend or boyfriend in high school it doesn't matter whether or not people found you attractive in high school. It really doesn't matter. Like, just focus on developing yourself as a character. Figuring out your own internal value set, core beliefs, all of that. Cause my dumbass in high school, I just freaking copy, I just, you know, in one ear, out the other, you know? And I was so smart in 10th grade, then boosh. The Chad takeover took over, and, and, and again, 
I'm slowly getting back up there to where it's like now I'm in a healthy spot where I choose people to be with uh, because I love them, uh, not because uh, they're like Chad or whatever, right? So yeah, I'm with my boyfriend because I love him and I love spending time with him and I think he's a good person with good values. Whoa, and yeah, I'm attracted to him too. It's pretty sick, um, but here's the caveat. If he just randomly left me and decided he didn't like me out of nowhere, um, that wouldn't impact my self-worth. That would not impact my self-worth at all. Why? Because that's kind of his problem, okay? That's his problem that he doesn't really like me anymore. I didn't really do anything wrong. That's his shit, right? So, yeah, I'd be sad if he left me, but it wouldn't change who I am as a person. It wouldn't shatter my identity because my identity isn't revolved around whether or not this man in my life validates me for me my self-worth is based on my strength of character accomplishments shit like that right not whether or not chad finds me attractive um and i feel like yeah more people need to understand and i need to drill this into y'all's heads your self-worth comes from within, not externally from within, you guys. Oh, and I am sweating like a hog because my room does not have AC and I'm on the ground far away from my fan. So I just am going to cut it here. I got work tomorrow morning. I got to sleep. But I hope you guys understood what I was trying to say. So, yeah.